Hey guys, my name is Diamond Ultra and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys another Worth It video. Now for those of you who don't know what the series is, it's basically where I buy bundles in the Dying Light 2 store, try them out, test them, see if they're worth buying at all so that you don't have to. Today we have the Post Epo bundle, which is basically Post Apocalyptic bundle. And it's a very big bundle, it costs about 550 if you, you know, you don't have a discount with it. Now in this bundle you get the Scrapper outfit, an armor set, which I'll dive into more in a bit. A weapon called the Scrap Slicer along with its blueprint and a paraglider. Now starting off with the outfit, if you guys have seen my previous videos, you know that I like outfits that look like you would wear in a zombie apocalypse. So this is pretty nice. I, I really like it. It suits the style, the theme, and just you know, the nature of the world. Now up next is the weapon itself, the Scrap Slicer. Now on screen you can see what it'll cost you to make and upgrade the total costs and the fully upgraded stats. Now I do love weapons with mod slots because they allow you to upgrade the weapon and you know let you do some more fun stuff. But I have to admit the durability is very low especially since most weapons that I have can go between 300 to 400 durability. So it's a pretty decent weapon because of its mod slots but as for its durability, I don't really want to find myself having to repair it every single time, so I wouldn't really rank this as the best weapon there is. Now up next is the set of armor. Now this doesn't really change your skin, it's basically the same, but honestly I don't really find this all that great since, you know, the level of armor is high but the stats are very, very low. So if you're just now starting the game and you want a little boost, this is decent. I don't even think it's the best you know, for wherever you make it in the game. But it, it is what it is. I, I wouldn't really wear it. And lastly, we have the paraglider and what you really look like when you're out and about in old Villador or new Villador. So the paraglider, I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed. There's not really much to look at. It's just three lines. So I wouldn't really use this. But yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like. It really helps my channel out and leave a comment as well. And if you find yourself coming back, why not subscribe? You're coming back anyways. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.